All right, hey guys, welcome in today. I got a fantastic new project for you. Another Keith Haring, one of my favorite ones. Um, this is the DJ dog or the DJ. Um, in 1983, Keith Haring did this one. One of my favorite fa artists. Got another step-by-step -step tutorial on for this. And I love this, this character so much. Even I had to show you, I'm gonna take my camera off that I got an awesome shirt from Target. Um, Target's been doing a lot of these little trendy kind of art shirts on here. So this is one of my favorite characters. Got him on here. So let's get into it today. I use my temper cakes for this, for the coloring. Um, probably a couple different size brushes, but I will start in pencil and then go over it with kind of the thicker Sharpie, just like I did in my last step-by-step. -step. So for the DJ dog, I'm gonna start out with kind of the bottom part of it and then kind of build up to the dog. It kind of, it, I, I definitely have a thicker paper to this. You can kind of hear the thickness. I'm gonna go okay. a line that goes up and then down on the other side and then the table kind of goes bigger on this side and then we'll stop and then the same thing on this side so it still has a little of that symmetry over here and then down it's almost like upside down L's on the side and then his little DJ boxes I guess I think that's the right term for them DJ boxes or sets for the turntables <laughs> um, a line in the middle on there and then almost like a block letter C that continues all the way and then it comes back around so that kind of box shape there and the same thing on this side just goes opposite and then will be his turntable on each side so kind of like a egg shape that goes around and then has a little circle in the middle with a dot. And then the other, the same thing, except it's gonna have his arm, so I'm gonna cut, cut off a little part of it in here. So this kind of egg shape goes around, and then it kind of stops. This one you can probably link up a little bit closer, and this one too kind of stops here. Still has that little dot in the middle though because that's gonna be his paw, or his paw for his kind of DJ hands. All right, so we got the bottom part. Let's go up a little bit more. So I'm gonna go a line that goes up from this kind of turntable, and then another one that goes right in the middle here. Keep it kind of even for his body in the middle. And then an arm that goes out this way. And then another one going out that way almost looks like kind of like a t-shirt and then this one will go down to his little turntable down here down there and then this one will go up a little bit longer up that way so one going down and one going up this one you can kind of loop around and then come back up And then this one will come over. So that's his arm going down here. If you want to connect some of your lines if they didn't make exactly. Hand. This one will go up to the hand. He has that kind of loop for his hand. That'll loop around. And then this line will come back down. And then go over towards his head. It's kind of, I guess, the muscle or the shoulder part. All right, so we got his body done. Now up to his head, that's my favorite part of his. So this one will go up a little bit. This one over here kind of goes up and then over. This one over here will go out and then up. Almost like another L shape. A lot of little straight little lines. This one will go in and then back out kind of like that V shape. And then same thing kind of goes up and back over. Let's bring that one all the way over here. Really close. So it's just got his little dog ears on the top, almost like an M shape. So we're gonna go up, down, up, down. On there, and there we go. Over here for his other record that he's holding. So I'm gonna start that 
at this, I'm gonna do this one really light first. Just so I make sure I get a good circle. So you've seen some of my circles before I start out lightly, just to make sure I get the good shape. And then after I feel pretty confident, then I can go ahead and make it dark. Okay, there's that, that looks nice. And then a circle on the inside with a little dot in there. I like it. Okay, we got most of the stuff, except we need some of those action lines that Keith Aaron is very, very famous for. So I'm gonna do one, two on that side. I'm gonna do, uh, let's do a little one over here. One, two, and then right kind of in between his body. One, two, same thing up here. One, two, over here. One, two, and then on each side of him, kind of like, a curve and then a little bigger one right opposite his elbow over here one two and then my favorite is his kind of barking sound which almost makes it look like he is barking let's go one two and then one two on there okay and then the last thing is just writing the words D and J simple D up here and then a J, both uppercase, I like it. And there it is, we got our dog DJ or DJ dog and I'm gonna go over that in sharp so let's go through that real quick. All right, so I got that outlined in Sharpie, turned out awesome. I even cleaned it up with a little bit of eraser, some of the parts that still show through. That's why I like using pencil first. You can always go back and kind of erase some of those pencil lines that didn't hit exactly. So now, it, the project is kind of up to you. I did this a similar some... project with the hands holding the art um, that my students are actually working on right now. It's a really cool project. I'll put that down in the link in the description below, but I had a couple examples that I wanted to show you guys that my kids are working on now. So that is that project. So I'm gonna do a similar thing Thing with the um, with the paint and the temper cakes I thought that turned out good um, for this project it really brightens up since a lot of the colors and a lot of the examples for this one there's a few different ones that I've seen but really the possibilities are endless but the main thing is that you're kind of color blocking each section in a different color. So whatever color you do here, try to do a different one here, a different one for the background. So each of the parts, that's really kind of his trademark thing for Keith Haring is that a lot of his examples. So I'm gonna to try to do that. So let's go through that real fast. All right, and just real quick, you can see that I kind of made the mistake, so you gotta be careful, as even I make mistakes. Um, I kind of was push, was focusing so much on here that I actually touched my wet paint and put a little dot of red over on here. So I just quickly uh, tried to kind of rub it out a little bit while it was still wet, so I can get my little paper towel a little bit wet, and that'll take off most of it, and then hopefully by the time I go over it in color, it'll kind of get rid of the other part of it, but if it's still wet on there, you can wipe it off. Pretty good, and it's almost like an erase. Voila, there's a little art hack for you. So let's go through and finish with the rest. I like how this looks. Let's go through the blue background. This guys, I love how it turned out. I love how the colors pop on each individual part. So definitely if you like this, throw a thumbs up down below, hit the like button down below. And as always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art class, and we'll talk to you guys later.